I am Mohammed Khan, Interim Program Leader for Agriculture and Natural Resources, abbreviated as ANR at North Dakota State University. Today, I will discuss commodity elections since NDSU extension is required by North Dakota Century Code to conduct these elections. So, what are the commodity elections and what do we do? North Dakota law authorizes producers of agricultural commodities to establish councils that support their specific industry. The councils are allowed to levy an assessment, known as a checkoff, on their producers and use the proceeds to fund research and promotion of the commodity. The commodity councils are managed by a board of producers for that commodity. Each county has the opportunity to have a county representative. County representatives are elected by all county producers of that commodity. Counties are grouped into districts as determined by their council and district representatives are elected by the county representatives in the district. NDSU county agents are required by the North Dakota Century Code to conduct elections for the North Dakota Barley Council, Corn Council, Dry Pea and Lentil Council, All Seed Council, Soybean Council, and the Wheat Commission. The elections are based on a three-year rotation for Soybean, Pea and Lentil, and All Seed Councils, and a four-year rotation for Barley and Corn Council and the Wheat Commission. Elections can be held in conjunction with an event such as a crop improvement meeting or a separate meeting altogether. Multiple council elections can be held during the same event. Planning and officiating these elections provide a county ANR agent a great opportunity to meet and form a working relationship with producers in the county. Providing a well-run election and event can help agents become a recognized and knowledgeable resource to area producers. In November, emails are sent to counties required to hold elections for the next year. Some commodities allow elections to be held as early as December, while others require a later date. The emails are from my office, except for the soybean election information sent directly from the North Dakota Soybean Council. Once agents receive the email, they are asked to set the date, time, and location of the county election, and then send information, including the address of the election site, to the ANR program leader's office. An email will then be sent to the agent with a newspaper advertisement, news release, ballots, and certificate for election. Newspaper ads can be sent to the local newspaper for publication. The ANR county agent conducts the county election. Ballots are supplied for nominations and voting. Agents are encouraged to use ballots in case there is a contested election. If there is a tie vote, the winner can be determined by the flip of a coin or drawing a name from a hat. After the election, a copy of the certificate with the name of the county representative is mailed or emailed to the ANR program office. Ballots should remain in the county office until the next election for that commodity, which can be three or four years later. Soybean elections are the only commodity election held by mail-in ballots. The North Dakota Soybean Council takes care of all nomination and ballot mailings for the county elections. The agent will collect the nominations through the mail and provide the names to the Soybean Council. The ballots will also be sent to the agent's office, who will be required to provide the name of the winner to the Soybean Council by a specific date. The district election is the next step. An agent in the commodity district is chosen by the ANR program leader, the commodity council, and the district director to officiate the district election. These elections are planned with help of the commodity offices and are run similar to the county elections. County representatives represent the producers in the county where they live and serve as a liaison between the producers and the council. The county representatives influence how the checkoff dollars are invested influence the industry's direction, expand their network of fellow producers, leaders, and key influencers, and increase their personal knowledge of their commodity and industry. District representatives represent their district at the council or commission meetings. They participate in board and committee meetings, 
select and evaluate their administrator, evaluate and review commission operations, monitor and participate in issues impacting the council or commission, determine uses for the check of money, and approve, establish, prioritize, and evaluate programs and services of the organization. In summary, commodity elections are great opportunities for a &R agents to meet and develop relationship with producers within the county and to help develop leaders within their communities. Also, NDSU Extension is given the responsibility to conduct a fair and, a fair and transparent election as required by the North Dakota Century Code. The public has placed their trust in us. Let us ensure that their trust is well placed in NDSU Extension. Thanks for visiting. Thank you.